Hello beer tubers and welcome to another beer review with me Peter the Master of Profits today checking out another beer that I got from the ever so awesome Johan in Sweden. Uh, he sent quite a few beers this year during the whole COVID situation. He sent like a huge bunch of lagers and whatnot. This is from an earlier beer mail. I think it was earlier this year or maybe actually last year. Maybe earlier this year. But I just didn't get around to it until now. But this is none other than the Dugas and Omnipoyo. Bourbon Barrel Aged Anagram, or Barrel Aged Anagram. You might know Anagram, very famous beer from these guys. They're Blueberry Cheesecake Imperial Stout, or Imperial Milk Stout, a pastry stout. One of the first kind of like, I guess, really famous beers they did with the Dugas. And a lot of the production now of Omnipoyo beers are at Dugas. Or Dugas, I think that's how you pronounce it in Swedish. But Johan was kind enough to send this one. I actually really, really like the the anagram back in the day and I've definitely still enjoyed it. I think it's one of the paste like when I've had it recently, it's recently, it's probably been a year, but it's not like the last time I had it, I didn't think it was so fake that it wasn't enjoyable because there was a base that was somewhat substantial, but you know, it's been a long time since I've, I've had an Omnipoyo stout. And the, one of the main reasons is because I've just like started to enjoy these kind of pastry stouts less and less and less. And more just start to enjoy like a very well brewed base stout with like vanilla or just coffee, whatever, something like that, or just straight stout barrel aged. Um, but this one is pastrified. So this is a bourbon barrel aged blueberry cheesecake pastry stout. And yeah, that's all it is. It says a bourbon barrel aged stout. Blah, blah, blah. Let's take that again. A bourbon barrel aged. So it just says that twice on the label. This is 15%. The base is like around 10, I think. So either they really ramped this up for the barrels or it took out a lot of alcohol from the barrels. It Maybe a mix of both. Um, but yeah, it'll be fun to try this one. I think the last time I had this one was actually, the regular version was when I was in Gothenburg for um, GBG Beer Week. But let's check it out. So it pours a pitch black color. It looks, it doesn't look like super thick. But it definitely, you can see that it's been in a barrel and it has some alcohol because it's got like a lot of curtains. When I just poured it out, it did have a nice film of like a slightly tan head. It pretty much looks like what you expect from the style and also what I remember from Anagram. But it'd be fun. I should maybe have had an Anagram side by side just to see if I enjoyed that one and the base as much as this one. And just to compare to how much I enjoyed it back in the day, because I thought it was really good. But let's check out the aroma on this one. It smells really nice. <laughs> it smells really nice. So it has a very intense barrel character. The adjuncts aren't as prominent right now, which I like. It has like a really fudgy bourbon character. Like very fudgy, caramelly, toffee bourbon. There's definitely the pastry vibes. I do smell them, but they're not as forward as I think I remember from a fresh bottle of, of um, Anagram. But it does have that blueberry kind of like blueberry candy thing or blueberry ice cream thing. Like blueberry flavoring. And also cheesecake. It, it smells, you know, what like what it says. And it smells slightly artificial as you know this beer is you know it's with flavorings but it's i don't i think they also use real blueberries in this and probably something like you can get like uh, like cream cheese powder i think I've, I've seen that used in some beers but i don't think it smells like overtly sickly or anything this, there's a slight kick of alcohol there's some roasted malt too definitely a big hit of chocolate yeah let's see how it is see if i like it a lot or not cheers thanks a ton Yohan. Ooh, it's hot. I like it, but it's definitely not my favorite Omnipoyo stout. I think they've done better. Like they've, they've, it's fun because they've actually dialed it back on using a lot of extract and flavorings and started using real ingredients and whatnot. And like Perpetual was amazing. It's a great barrel aged stout. And the one they did with Three Sons, the, uh, oh, what was it called? Britain I Andromeda was Fabulous, because it tasted more real and it was thicker. This is more towards that kind of more classic pastry stout side, where I think you can taste the base, but it's not like super thick beer. It's 
It is slightly velvety, but you can taste like the that like like it feels like the barrel has thinned it out a bit. I think if you gave this to me three years ago, two years ago, I would have been like, wow, this is really nice. But this is just really not what I look for in stouts that much anymore. Like it's I just want more like thick, lush robustness, more base flavor, and then undertones of an adjunct or just like a good amount of the still the like just I think pretty much what I'm just looking for is balance more balance I think it's somewhat balanced but it, you know it, for a pastry stout because pastry stouts aren't really balanced it's like they're very like in your face with the adjunct um but it's a nice barrel beer and you can like you can feel that it it is sticky. It's coating your lips. So it's probably has like a very a lot of residual, like high amount of residual sugar, probably finished at a high Play-Doh or it had a high starting, but like, you know, usually when you have like a very high starting gravity, you finish also quite high um, because it is sticky, but because you put it in a barrel, it, for some reason there's like a lot of bourbon. So I think that kind of thinned it out a bit. I also don't remember this as being like the thickest of the only polo stouts. But yeah, it tastes exactly like what it set out to do, like a barrel-aged version of Anagram. And still, even with a year of age, the adjunct kind of flavor is faded a bit, the pastriness of it, but it's still there. It's like that kind of blueberry cheesecake frosting, ice blueberry ice cream kind of vibe with a kick to loads of bourbon, even like a slight biscuity vibe, and then like caramel toffee, but it's like, it's, it's kind of, you know, it's the artificially, artificial, artificially artificial kind of pastry thing and that's what I've come to enjoy much less nowadays um I'm not gonna shit on it because I think it's a nice beer but it's I'd like a one and done for me like I'd, tr I'd try it I'd share it with some friends and then I don't think I'd pick it up again just because I'm not that into the style anymore that's just what happens your palate changes other things are more interesting uh, I think for a while this was really fun with all these pastries, but again, I just, I just want like really substantial base imperial stouts. That's right now my favorite kind of like, ever since starting drinking like side project stouts and stuff like this, even though it's just one so far, but we got some coming in trades. It's just like, it just set on a whole new like benchmark for what I want in a stout, which is nuts. Um, but that being said, it's still a nice enough imperial stout. Uh, I think a lot of people who really, because I like, and it's not like I utterly hate pastry styles because I think they can be done well, but it's not like I go nuts over them anymore either. I think, again, if you gave this to someone else who was really into it, they would think this is like at least a 95 plus. For me, this is like around a 90, maybe 92, that ballpark. It's a nice barrel and barrel stout, but like it's just, I think it's also like, not necessarily a thin beer, but sometimes like all the the flavorings in a beer, in beers like these thin them out a bit more, or it just makes your palate it makes your palate more fatigued too. Like you have a few sips and then it's just like, you know, your palate is just tired. It's more of a sharing beer, even though you know I I'm saying this drinking it on my own, but yeah, I think I would have enjoyed this much more a few years ago. But that being said, it's still a nice beer, and if you love pastry stouts. You would probably give this like a 95, 97, something in those range, like in that range. But for me, who's a bit fed up with the style, it's around 90, 92. It's still a nice beer. It's well done uh, for what it is. But And it's not like too artificial. And it's not, you know, like too crazy thin. It's just still lacking enough for me to not think like this is really, really nice pastry style. So that's my two cents. Again, still. Some of the best I've done recently, Perpetual and Andromeda, Omnipoil, fantastic stuff. So, 9092 for, maybe 91, for Omnipoil's Anagram, Barrel Aged. You know, I kind of expected this actually, this is exactly what I thought I'd think, but maybe you guys, and you guys probably, if you had it, thought differently, so let me know. In the comments below and thanks a ton for the beer anyhow Johan. this was still very fun to try it's not like i'm disappointed or anything i knew this was what it would be like and it's still a nice beer it's just not what you know completely 
Uh, it makes me go nuts nowadays. So, if you had it, let me know, guys. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check the Facebook fan page, and Twitter, and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And I'm going to say cheers, and see you guys in another video.